morning. Morning. Thank you for the coffee. And a morning dunk. This is the life. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. I didn't even get her going well. on. She's so good. I know, she's amazing. You're amazing, Bear. Good girl. You're still sleeping in, eh, Izzy? It's a perfect day out here. I wish you could be like this forever. Wanna come on? Come on. No. <laughs> I'm excited to be back. <laughs> Welcome back to our life in the woods. It's summer here. Come enjoy 30 days with us. It is so hot already in this greenhouse. Officially got all the beds full with Pro Mix. That means that today's the day we're planting our seedlings. The sweat is dripping in my eyes. I'm very optimistic about this year's growing season. I need to get tell. After many months of nurturing these seedlings, they are going to meet the outside world. As I'm bringing these outside, there's one thing I'm particularly worried about, and that is that it's 30 degrees outside and we have the AC on inside here. I know, AC off grid in the summer. This is gonna be the best summer yet. <laughs> but I am afraid that they're gonna be a little bit shocked. So if we see some sad plants for a few hours, we all know they're gonna perk back up. They're just gonna have to adjust. And these plants, I think we've made them pretty resilient. It just comes so natural. You don't even have to try. When we touch the fairy dust, First step to any garden is having a plan, whether you're drawing it out or mapping it out, planning it out, kind of getting an idea of where everything's going to go. Magic to me. Greenhouse is done. Everything we're planting today is either going to go outside in one of our eight raised garden beds or inside the greenhouse behind me. Certain things I find like herbs last year did a lot better in the greenhouse, but I'm open to experimenting. Now on to the outside beds. I hope you know i be the assistant in your Vegas show. We're gonna have a lot of tomatoes. Sauces, working hard. Well, you get to have an outdoor shower after this. Oh, I can't wait. A cold plunge, a hot tub. Wow. Okay, I'm looking forward to that. <laughs> oh my God, it feels so good. I'm having a cold shower. We definitely made a mistake going this size. Y'all remember this 20 by 20 area? Well, it's about to go 40 by 40. Why? You can never have too much space. What way do you want to go? That's that what way? I'm trying to figure or that out. Way. Yeah. Oh, we could also start it back more and keep these. I definitely want to go that way because there's some dead trees that way. I feel like it makes more sense to go that way. <laughs> Bella wants you to do it. Hi, Bella. She says this is going to be my favorite spot because of all the games I get to play. We're at 34. That's 40 driveway and then the first structure starts after that tree and then 40 feet back brings us to that dead tree yep and now we need to figure out like how wide we need to go cool love it we are preparing this area behind us me and you <laughs> for a concrete slab foundation that means we need to get rid of all the trees in the proximity as well as any dead debris that is sitting on the forest floor as that will just decay over time and that's not good. She asked for the cleanup crew, I'm here. Oh, time, yeah girl. Oh! 
Just keep sawing, just keep sawing. What do we do? We saw, saw, saw. We didn't even plan this, but I'm standing in the middle of what we're clearing right now. And on each corner, there is a big, beautiful tree and it's just gonna go right on the outside of them. It's gonna be so beautiful. And it's also gonna hide the structure. And then like, it's like this area was like already open. You it's know? like it wanted to be here. For context, Jasmine and I live on 15 acres in the Canadian wilderness. And we have quite a few things that are very precious and critical to the homestead that need storage. As most of you know, Clementine the Tractor, our Kubota helps us with moving all kinds of materials, gardening, building pathways and driveways and plowing snow. It's extremely useful and that tractor sits outside all year round. So as the years have gone on, we've really discovered that we need to create something, a sheltered space where things like the ATV, and any off-road vehicles, the tractor, have a sheltered home that they can then live a longer life and we can just maintain them a lot easier. Something like this precious tractor only deserves the best of the best. You ran out of gas? Ran out of gas, ran out of fun. Ran out of fun? <laughs> yeah. I can't even hold this little mic with my right hand. <sighs> I haven't worked these muscles. I haven't worked these muscles in so long. <sighs> It's done. Clean up on a cooler day? Yeah, girl. You might be wondering, since there are two tubs, why aren't you using both? My cow made a hole in it. Oh, I hate getting splashed. <gasps> come on, at the same time, come on. Freezing ice Come on, come on, come on, at the same time. Oh, I'm better than this cold water. I can't do it. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Amazing. No, it wasn't real. Oh, <laughs> he's icy cold. 230 feet down to that well, eh? Y'all, it takes 15 minutes a day to learn a new language with Rosetta. We love Rosetta. We're so proud to be partnering with them again. And they have an amazing offer for our viewers, a lifetime subscription, access to all languages for life, no renewal fees, unlimited learning and unlimited languages. Both of us have always had a love for travel and seeing new corners of the globe. It's something that brought Jasmine and I together. And for me, it started at a very young age and speaking from experience when you get to know the language it changes your travels entirely those locals you're talking to become friends and those directions are a lot smoother Con toda la buena vibra. ¿Y cuántos días hasta acá? you can travel more confidently and communicate more effectively it's never too late to learn a language and with rosetta stone you're going to be immersed in that language through pictures audio from native speakers and interactive activities rather than just memorizing translations you get to learn naturally with their unique, engaging learning approach. Jasmine is learning Spanish for our big move to Mexico this winter, and I'm still learning Portuguese in hopes of returning to Brazil one day soon, my favorite country I've ever traveled to. If you're interested in learning a language, click on the link in the description. Remember, you'll have access for life to all of the languages, Spanish, German, French, Dutch. The world is your oyster, and it's up to 60% off. That right there is a 4,000 pound project.
This clearing behind me is a project in progress. We've been working at it for a little bit, planning, but from spring until summer, we've noticed the big, beautiful ferns coming up in some of the clearing here. So what else would we do with these other than transplant them? I wanna waste a while with you, baby, in the living room. You're doing a great job. I'm never gonna sleep again. Yeah, now these have been here since the dino age. <laughs> They got roots for decades. Millennia. Millennia. You lovely creature washing over me like rain. Bella, are you helping? Yeah, we're gonna hold the ferns. Good girl, Bear. If she wants to bite you, tell him. Dig. Yeah, good girl. Dig out the ferns for us. I just pulled this out with my hand. I want the big ones. Wow. Check it out, everyone. I was loved by a woman. Oh my God. Working hard or what? Show us. <laughs> <laughs> what the heck? That's what happens when you try to push a shovel with a trunk in the way. Two for the price of one work. <laughs> Who needs a shovel? Your eyes look happy. I'm very happy. If you guys could feel the earth under those ferns, it's just like rich. What makes these ferns so special is that a recent fossil discovery led scientists to the conclusion that many modern day ferns, like the cinnamon fern, are direct survivors from the dinosaur age. Millions of years ago! How resilient is nature? I think it is so incredible that these exact ferns could have existed on this planet when the dinosaurs were marching through here. It's fascinating to think that they could have just remained in the earth for over 100 to 220 million years, just holding out and then they resurfaced and popped through the ground. So for that reason, we're gonna try and replant them over here in a partly shade, partly sunny area. The two of us always have big planting plans and garden plans. This is just the start of our wee little side garden over here. We have some super exciting plans at the side of the cabin and behind the cabin here that we will be executing this summer. Cannot wait to show you all. But um, yeah, hopefully these ferns can take over, crawl in between these, these rocks. I know it looks really sunny here, but it's not as sunny as you think. Usually shaded throughout the day. Just happens to be getting that little bit of afternoon sun right now. They're gonna love the mulch. Oh yeah. That's that big rock, y'all. <laughs> Looks beautiful, Crystal. You like it? Love. I wish we had a palm tree that produced coconuts. <laughs> so good, eh? Let's go some of the girls. Never leave the supervisors behind. They love coconut water. You are something else here. Do we look like 90s moms? Ready to do our lawns? I feel like a 90s mom. Come on, daughter, let's go weed back. That is the sound of summer. And if you can just put yourself here and smell those blades of grass that are freshly cut in the summer evening, it's a vibe. I love the smell of freshly cut grass. But I really stopped to tell you that this little bug on my lawnmower, believe it or not, if you see one of these, it is a firefly. And I just discovered what they look like and 
we've had tons of them and we see them at nighttime. That little guy right there is what you see when you see the, the gl glow bugs at night. Bottom of the pole is looking amazing, Jazzy. Just happened to notice, this needs to be painted. What we have here. Wow. A red strawberry. Red. Okay, zoom in here. Let's pick this. Are you gonna eat it? Yeah. Zoom in on this. Zoom in on this. Do we get to share or do you get it? Half sweet, half sour. Too bad. Pretty though. It's all yours. Cool girl. Oh. Don't want it, Mom. Why do you want sour? Sour? You want some? She's literally want telling cookie? you no without saying no. <laughs> morning coffee with Clem and she's due for a greasing. Clem is so happy, her joints feel good. Okay, now let's go pick some parsley. They smell so good. The greenhouse is thriving. But don't worry, tomorrow we'll do a full tour. Such a delicious summer meal, but I am falling asleep. <laughs> Your eyes. I don't even know if I'll make it to eating it. That's odd. <gasps> Because it's delicious. Is it good? So good. <laughs> Literally sleeping outside of her bed. I can't hold it together. <laughs> We're all that tired. Oh, sorry, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Don't wake the bear. Sorry, girl. <laughs> I've never seen her like this. She's exhausted. card trick you don't need no sleight of hand don't need a rabbit or the hat to help me understand how many mice i lost count there's one right there <laughs> pause and play university of youtube how many sutures you remove. Watch this. But if you grab this, yeah. See how the line goes across the wound? Mm -hmm. So I need to pick up the knot and cut on this side. It's done. Proud of you. Well, I'm supposed to go. <laughs> yeah, does it? It looks really good. Thanks. Can I have another one? Yeah, they're all right here. Oh, great. Nice little stary strips to keep it together, just in case. Does it sting? A little bit. You're tough as nails, girl. But want to know what you're not as tough as? The multi-tool. <laughs> you knew my joke. Press <laughs> it. Great. <laughs> Woo! Money Martin and Vantoire! Do you want to go for a swim? You want to go swimming there? Make us a path. This is absolutely the best swimming spot on the property because the river is flowing all throughout the summer and it's quite shaded in the area. So it gets very cold compared to the lake. The lake does warm up quite quickly because it is pretty shallow.
The river is always a great place to take a dip. Wow, there's a current, Ma. There's a big current here. You wanna play? Kiss? Ow! Go! Yeah, come on! Go, go! Wanna go to me? Dala! Go! Go, girl, Go! Last one, ready? Go, bro! The plants are getting watered by nature today and it's not gonna stop all day. We let Bella and Izzy pick the program on rainy days. Oh, good morning. I almost didn't see you behind my super tall pepper plants. Look how well everything is doing in here. There hasn't been a single time I've opened the door and walked in here and I haven't been completely mind blown with how wonderful everything's growing this year. Do you all remember when Crystal started every single plant in here by seed? Everyone, little tiny seeds and they are adults. I can't take credit for any of this. I just look in awe at Crystal take care of this thing. I think she spends more time with her greenhouse than with me, Bella, and Izzy. We miss her sometimes, but it's paying off. <laughs> Marry a gardener, y'all. While everything is thriving in here, I do have a lot to share with you because we have had some gardening issues. But first, it's really dry in here. I mentioned this earlier, but we have huge plans for behind the cabin here. And Adam, our electrician, just got a brand new machine and tool that can drive piles into the ground to get foundation started for us. So, let's start the foundation. We'll get back in the greenhouse later. Hi, Adam. Hey, what's up? <laughs> the engineer's here. Adam too. A lot of you probably remember our last install, which failed miserably. That's what you call a rock. That's a big rock. That's a big rock. That's a big rock. However, for the last three years, Adam has specifically been working on this rig just for us. Just kidding. <laughs> because our land is so rocky. We've heard so much about this and he's so passionate and he's feeling very optimistic about the install. So we're really, yeah. really excited. Yeah, so we said, why not? Let's try to give it a try. Get these foundations nice and clean in the ground. and I cannot wait to see this be done on our land and Adam's invention. If you can hear me, that dust flying and all of that material, those little chunks of stone that are flying away, that's because this is actually going right through rock, which is absolutely wild. Look at the dust. Now that I've seen Adam's invention work, I completely understand. He's told me about a million times, but I am such a visual person. Like a Tapcon that makes holes through concrete. So this piece that's on his excavator right now is going directly through the ground. And then when it hits rock, it's able to break the rock open. That way, when we put the next attachment on and throw the screw piles in, they will go in with ease. What do you say? 
It was a boulder. We a just boulder? Yeah. You got through it? Yeah. Can't hear you, Adam. Yeah. <laughs> That's such an amazing little machine he's got there by. Wild. Yeah. Adam, you're a genius. You rigged this up. Like, that's wild. And you all know my brain right now is being like, what else can I build now that I know screw piles work here? Starting right on a rock on this one. It's raining rock. I was just over it on the forest line taking a shot with the camera. Huge pile of bear scat. I haven't ever seen bear scat on our property, so I am pretty shocked to see it. We've seen it on the trails and the roads, and we've seen them out there, but never on our acreage because of the dogs, I always believed, but it looks like they may have wandered in. So, might have to set up some more cameras in that corner. What a clean hole. And look at all that rock we just busted through, y'all. Screw pile time. Sounds like someone shower singing. Oh. Typical day, Larry's here to look at the other foundation, the one that we were clearing a while back, you know? When I got my arm workout with the clearing saw, these are my favorite days. Welcome back to the greenhouse. As promised, I wanna give you a tour, show you everything that's growing in here, how it's doing, and give you a full update. This year is the best the greenhouse has ever looked, and our gardens have never been better. Every year it gets better and you know as they say it's not just the garden growing it's also the gardener. All right on the right hand side we have our tomatoes they are towering we've got flowers and we've got some green fruit so we're waiting for those to ripen and then we have a whole bunch of pepper plants they are probably gonna start producing soon and we have a wall of cucumbers, um, regular cucumbers and lemony cucumbers. They're coming onto the floor and up the dome, so I'm gonna actually trellis them over the entire dome. After the cucumbers, it's hard to tell, but these beautiful plants right here are our eggplants. I've got nasturtiums above my head and the basil. In this corner of the dome, we're growing carrots, we have herbs, parsley, thyme, zucchini, and lettuce. Last year we had aphids take over the greenhouse and I had to fight back with ladybugs, so I purchased 500 ladybugs to eat the aphids. This year we have powdery mildew, which has really taken over the tomatoes, so I've been spraying them pretty much weekly with hydrogen, hydrogen peroxide um, and water. It seems to be working, but it does keep coming back, so it's something I need to work on. And because we're in the greenhouse, I am worried that it's gonna spread to everything else. So I'm really trying to keep an eye on it and hope for the best. This is the culprit. You can see that the fungus or the mildew actually sets on the leaves. You can hardly see its spores. And then it starts to um, prevent the plant from doing photosynthesis, which then the plant dies and turns the leaves start to turn, which is not good if you want to actually get to the point of having fruit to eat or vegetables to eat. Next, I'm gonna do a little fertilizing. I did this while they were seedlings, and while they were teenagers, and now in their adult stage, I'm going to fertilize the beds, give them some extra nutrients so they can grow nice and tall and feed our bellies. A little beer for the slugs. A little beer for me. I'm really, really proud of the greenhouse and how everything's doing in here. When I'm in here, I'm so happy to be here. It's like my side hobby, but it's just brought me so much more than fruit and vegetables. It's brought me so much happiness. If you've thought about gardening, I cannot recommend it enough. It is the best feeling. I'm really excited. <laughs> Are you excited? The deck is empty and ready to be cleaned. It's more of a dance floor than a deck, if you ask me. Show us your moves. Like, I'm gonna clean the sauna, I'm gonna clean the hot tub, I'm gonna clean the outhouse, I'm gonna clean everything. I'm gonna clean the outdoor shower, I'm gonna clean the greenhouse. 
That's a thousand PSI? I don't think I'm supposed to do that. She powerful. It's really fun. You're gonna get wet under there. What's something really dirty we can clean? This is what it's all about, baby. My battery died, but just look at how nice this looks already. Chef's kiss. And the most genius reason why we got this pressure washer? The solar clean. Now the panels are fun for Bella in the summer and the winter. Even your 11 year old senior dog. She's a puppy right now. She has love eyes for this. All right, well, we officially are doing nothing but this today. <laughs> Bella's like, that ain't a hose. It makes everything brand new again. Also, what is so sick about this and what makes it so easy for cleaning the solar and the truck and the ATV is you can put it right down to such minimal power that there's no damage. So if anyone's worried about that. All right, next side for my personal car washer. What service? Oh, wow. She's already going. I feel like I'm in a car wash. <laughs> Thank you, Crystal. And then let's roll. Quick stop, check the mail. One package. Oh, there's where our good ratchet strap went! Are you all ready to see a little secret? Almost a month ago now, we were all down in this area. And, well, you know, the 50 by 50 area, a lot has changed. We're gonna give you a little sneak peek of what's to come. Just quick though. Clementine's been hard at work. Close your eyes, everyone. And Link Belt's been even harder at work. Look at that machine. Little sneak peek. This is probably one of the most exciting projects of the summer right here, everyone. But um, we gotta get some exact measurements right now. That's 50. One. Do you think I can throw this? You got it, girl. Right in the mud. <laughs> Good thing trail tape ain't actually sticky like tape, eh? So you can mark your tree. Rescued, yes, I shall. It's a nice machine, eh? Everyone meet my new baby. I wish. <laughs> Look how small Clementine is. She looks so small. Sometimes I think she's a beast and then I... Small little Clementine. See construction work. Big cousin. Marked. Marked. 50 okay. by 50. See y'all another day. How long have I been talking about doing this? 10,000 years. I've been talking about doing this for forever. These poles, they just stand out to me like a sore thumb. And a little bit of paint goes a long way. So we're putting some tram clad rust paint on these today. And there's two of them because we have two sets here of solar poles. Solar poles. How long did it take us to get started on painting? Hours. You know, we're trying to locate the brushes. Couldn't even find the proper pan. This is an oil pan. <laughs> Doesn't matter. I'm pumped because just look at how good this looks. I just did a little taste test. Oh, you caught me. I thought, no, I felt something. It was a, a horse fly. I, I thought it was a paint room. The a horse fly told on me.
since I got ready for the occasion. I figured I might as well keep going. Check out our new picnic table. It's also a dance floor. It needs to be finished as it's milled wood from a dude on the side of the road with chickens, goats, dogs, hens, sheep, like 10 of each. He did a really good job. Like every little detail, the way it's all notched out with yeah, a router, right probably right used it. around $100 worth of leg bolts that you can't even see because they're hidden. Like this is gonna last forever and it's hemlock. We can hardly lift it, the two of us. It's so heavy. But yeah, it's hemlock and hemlock is super great in Nova Scotia. It's like our cedar out here. So some local trees milled by a local dude, built by a local dude to some local gals. Our friend Teak is gonna help us out. Nice move! Hydrated wood. Someone told me I need a shower after that. So many minutes until the black flies find you. five-star restaurant appetizer. Mm. Mm. It's like an explosion. Yeah. You grow some nice lettuce. That is a stunning, stunning, stunning meal. Right? Wow. It's beautiful. I'm sorry, I can't wait. <laughs> Don't be fooled. I didn't make it. Dessert? Five star restaurant. Oh. You literally slouched into your chair. You're so tired. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>